Yo, so what's going on, guys? It is Poen, and I just burnt my tongue on hot chocolate. Who does that? Who does that? I, I kind of just washed it down. I'm trying to down the whole box because it expires in like three days, and I'm super crazy about that. No good American person should waste some hot cocoa. It's just, it's a sin. You guys should just be in prison for that kind of act. So, you know, <laughs> that aside, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is one of the first, if not the first, and maybe one of the only, search and destroy Moabs on YouTube. Now, a subscriber of mine came to me. His name is Scrandy. I'll put his link down in the description below. I do think that he's going to start getting into YouTube soon. Uh, he does not have a PVR, thus he asked me to hop onto his vault and, uh, you know, get inside there and uh, check it out. So I went over. Um, I got into the game. I, I researched it, checked out what's going. Look at that reaction time. That's how you could tell this guy's a good player. Like, just check the kill cam again. In all one motion, he jumped in the air, get turned on, drop shot, pooped in his face. That was just beautiful. Beautiful reaction time. I got to give him props on that. And once I saw that moment, I realized that right there was probably, you know, I came on here to watch this video to make sure and try to find out whether or not this was a fake Moab. Because if you guys have been around on YouTube for a long time, a lot of people have faked nukes in Modern Warfare 2. So that was my main hesitation, is, is was this going to be a legit Moab? And that was right there, probably the first, the first thing that gave away. He was getting shot at, could have died. That right there showed me that this was probably a legit Moab, because that's one thing that I was really, really curious about. Because this is not going to be an easy feat to do. So Scrandy came up in this game. He plays it, he plays it pretty cool. He's got the Specialist Loadout rocking now. He's got the Scar L with Red Dot Sight. And on the hip, as you guys can tell, it looks like he's got the Scorpion silenced. So this guy is pretty solid. He does a very, very good job in this game. He does pull out the Moab. And uh, as you guys can tell, you know, a search and destroy Moab is not going to be easy to do. It's probably, there will probably only be a handful of them during the entirety of this game release. I mean, there's not going to be too many of them. I can only think of like three or four people that ever did one in search and destroy in Modern Warfare 2. Now, the difference between Modern Warfare 2 nukes and uh, Modern Warfare 3 Moabs is a lot. Um... One major thing I wanted to point out between that is, is in Modern Warfare 2, the, the people that, well, from the ones I saw at least, the ones that actually got Search and Destroy nukes were guys that had an entire uh, friend team. So you got team a whole team with you working together as you guys are trying to build up and get a Search and Destroy nuke. So in half the time, if not all the time, uh, those nukes that I saw, you know, five of, the, five of the six guys, excluding the one that is obviously going for the nuke, had the uh, had had the riot shields on, and they were just protecting him, uh, you know, bodyguarding him, doing all that good stuff. They were just trying to protect him, and he would just try to pick up the kills. And that was one of the things that really, really helped people do that. Because the one thing people don't understand with search and destroy is there are only so many rounds and so many kills you could pick up. So when you're fighting for kills against other people, um, it gets to be something that I would never even attempt. This is something that I, I mean, I can't say it's impossible for me to do. I would never attempt to do it because the likelihood of this actually happening is very, very slim. Um, I do believe he was only playing with one other guy, one of his friends. I believe everybody else in the in the room was just a complete random. And uh, everything panned out and gave him the opportunity for him to build up his streaks. As you guys can tell right now, he's Superman. He's got all his streaks. He's ready to go. He's a couple rounds in. And it's looking pretty fresh. In case you guys are worrying about what's going on, the very start of the game, because I had to go into his vault and record, there was a host migration at the start of the game after he got his first kill. So you guys do not see his very first kill. You get, you get to see the 23 other ones he gets. But... You know, with that being said, this was a very, very impressive gameplay. I have to admit that this is something that I couldn't do. And it was very impressive to see this guy do it. And I don't know if it's, you know, what it is about it, but he's patient. And this is a cool little tactic right here. Like I said, I've not really been into Search and Destroy in a long time. But he's busting out these windows so he can get a clear view down the left and right side. This is a brilliant tactic. As long as you're, uh, you know, <laughs> bulletproof and nades can't kill you. But uh, again, you know, there's a lot of explosive cars in this game. It's one thing they really, really did add in. And I don't know if I'd really take refuge and, and use this as a barrier, um, seeing as how it's easily explodable. But anyways, like I was saying, in, in Modern Warfare 2, when people tried to go for a major uh, achievement such as a search and destroy nuke, it was usually generally because you had a lot of guys that would either hide or kill themselves at the start of the round, or they'd protect you with riot shields. I don't think I ever saw a real... You know, straight up search and destroy nuke where a guy was just in a random lobby and managed to pull off 25 kills or 24 kills in the situation. And then one more thing that you had to take into effect in Modern Warfare 2 is you had kill streaks too. This guy's not rocking kill streaks. This is 24 kills straight up, which I don't know is a bad thing or a good thing. I know it really helped out in the nukes back then because if you actually got your streaks, you know, if you got a Predator missile and got a quad with it, that's going to stack up towards your nuke. So that was something that really, really helped. I mean, and then you get one round in, call in a pave low, and it would take out the entire enemy team. So that'd be like two rounds that you could easily, with kill streaks, get six to eight kills, like no problem. So with that being said, that was one thing that really, really helped people getting them in Modern Warfare 2. I'm not saying it couldn't have been done with, you know, just all guns, 
But one reason that that would probably not be the smartest idea to go for in Search and Destroy in this game is say you have a streak called in, right? Your streaks do not lead up to a MOAB, so if there are only so many kills for you to have, you're going to want to only rock specialist because if you put on like an attack helicopter or something that picks up those kills, that's just one less kill you can get with your gun. Therefore, you're taking away your own kills for the MOAB. Now, this guy had his mindset on a MOAB. That's why he was letting bombs go off or not planning. His whole idea was to actually get the kills and then actually get the MOAB. That was his, it was his goal. And he achieved it, and it was brilliant. It was a brilliant gameplay. He did pretty solid. And uh, like I said, it was it was one of the you know most impressive Search and Destroy gameplays I've ever seen. I don't know if you guys know too much about me, but when I started playing Call of Duty, I played I started playing back in World of War. I didn't get the privilege of starting on COD 4 or anything like that. I started in World of War, and during that, what I did is I would play the game, and uh, you know I I think I only played Search and Destroy in World of War. That was like the only thing I ever played. I, I don't know what it is, but there's usually one game or one game type that a person sticks to. Uh, might fluctuate occasionally to like the occasional TDM or something. But you know, t think of it. You know, most commentators they play domination, right? That's what you usually see. And you know, with that with that being the case, is is Search and Destroy changed over the time period from where I played. I played game battles. I did all that stuff, and I played in Search and Destroy, and it was a very, very competitive game type. It was a very, very competitive game style. There was no bullshit involved. You know, when you run into a Search and Destroy game, you're probably, nine times out of ten, going to run into at least a couple people that know what the hell they're doing. And a lot of that game is thinking. It's outthinking the opponent, trying to be smart, taking a moment to step back into a corner and sound horror. I mean, it's a lot, a lot more difficult than the average running around pub stomping rushing because because search and destroy takes a little skill it takes a little bit of sound whoring it takes a little bit of uh you know ingenuity you got to think about what's going on you got to think where to go you got to predict things it's a thinking game you know you got to outplay the other kids and that was the idea behind the actual concept of search and destroy back then and then as it drifted on and it got into modern warfare 2 it wasn't bad you know it started out pretty solid you saw a lot of cross map sniping like in high rise and stuff like that but you know search and destroy kind of just started to dwindle because then you started seeing search and destroy montages and stuff like that popping out so nowadays if you hop into half of those lobbies you know whether it be black ops call of duty uh you know modern warfare 2 i don't know if it is in modern warfare 3 yet but i would assume so you could run into a lot of people in the search and destroy game they just try to uh snipe you know they try to do crazy crazy things they try to uh you know spin around do 360s stuff like that and that's not that's not tasteful to me that's 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 one game type that i think has been slightly uh you know destroyed and, and just completely taken apart because it used to be one of the game types that the most skilled players would go into and you had to think your way out of a situation those clutches were brilliant but nowadays you have guys at 360 spin jumping off ladders trying to snipe you and and that's that's where this game has come to that's where the search and destroy is destroyed and, and i don't really think it's that bad now in modern warfare 3 but give it a few months and it could be but that's definitely what happened in modern warfare 2 it's broken still to this day um, there's nobody that takes that game type seriously anymore and that's a shame because it is one of the most skillful game types to play. So, you know, like I said, the the, the growth from, uh, you know, Search and Destroy games over the uh, the, the, the Call of Duty franchise is, is somewhat dwindled. It has been limited a little bit and has changed dramatically, dramatically. And, uh, you know, like I said, for him to get in a lobby right here without any bullshit around, playing smart, and he was using decent weapons too. He was using the Scar L or something. It wasn't no Type 95, Akimbo FMG9s. He was rocking out a Silent Scorpion, you know, as a, as a primary, which is, is a bold choice. I mean, it's not a bad gun, but I think, you know, an FMG9 would be better. I think that a, uh, you know, what's the other one? The MP9? I think it's probably the best single wielded weapon in the secondary class. But, you know, he did well with this gun. He got probably, what, five, six kills with this gun, and he did really, really well with it. So, you know, I want to praise him for what he's done. He could be one of the only ones to end up doing this on this game, and that's a major achievement. So, with that being said, you know, he, uh, Scrandy just did a marvelous job. He just, he tore he tore butts up. That's what it was. He, he was in here, he played it smart, and, and it just seemed like there's the one thing about going for a Moab or a nuke in Search and Destroy there's got to be a lot of opportunity. Skill really, really plays a part, and that's what he did. He listened to his, uh, he used his headset, he used his skill, he tried to do what he can, and he really ended up to like prevail over these guys. He started pounding it in, and he did really, really successful with it. And with that, you know, like I said, there's a lot of it that has to be opportunity. A lot of it is luck. I'm not trying to take anything away from this guy, but I mean, just imagine you've got another five guys on your team that are trying to do the same thing you are, trying to get kills. So not only is he fighting against the other team, he's trying to hope that his guys don't do any work either. Because, you know, if they, if they get too many kills, ha had these guys in that very last round, you know, picked off two kills, he wouldn't have had that Moab. You know, it, it's just, it was a lot of opportunity, a lot of luck involved. Not necessarily on his part, but just overall, you know, he had the opportunity to get these. I mean, not everybody can say that they get 24 shots of killing a guy in a game. 
And, uh, you know, but he fully took advantage of it. He didn't die. There were a couple close calls like that. But he did a very, very good job. You could tell this guy is a very solid player just by his reaction time, how he moves, how he plants his claymores. You could tell at his movement and his and everything that this guy knows what he's doing. And and it's just quite impressive for him to come through here and do this feat. I'd expect it to be a few more months before anybody actually got one of these. And uh, it's a really cool thing for somebody to come to me. And now, now often, you know, I, I get a lot of false requests or weird things. But sometimes some people come to me and they actually have a, a solid request. You know, it's not just a simple Moab. I mean, if you do something extraordinary and you might not be famous on YouTube or, or, or anything like that and you want to showcase something brilliant that you've done, I can't blame them. So, so you know, this guy came to me and he's like, hey, man, I want, this, I want this to be seen. I want this to be known. I want to go down to be known as the first guy to get a search and destroy Moab on YouTube. And I was like, you know what? Okay, I'll try to showcase it. I'll try to get it out there for you, and hopefully these guys can actually enjoy, you know, watching what you've done right here. And this is one of those moments where he's patient. These guys kind of carelessly flock around. He picks up a few more kills. And this this just gameplay is just quite impressive. I can't, I can't put it any more than that. He played the map properly. He didn't do anything, you know, rash or dumb. He played it just right, and it turned out to pay off for him. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's a very, very impressive achievement, something that I could have never tried to attempt. And the fact that he went out there, tried to do it, and actually achieved it is brilliant to me. It's a one-of-a-kind gameplay. I hope you guys can enjoy it. Like I said, it is so, so much more impressive because he did it in a random lobby. He didn't do it with friends that killed themselves and allowed them to try to pick up kills. He didn't do anything crazy, no riot shields, no kill streaks. You know, this was all gunplay for 24 straight kills and search and destroy. And if you guys play search and destroy at all, and it may just be because I rush a lot in the game type, but overall, this game type is, is generally not too friendly to rushers. And the fact that he was successful with this and played this to the extent that he did and, and managed to clutch this house was impressive. Because all it takes is one bad choice, one bad call. And because of the the over exposure to the amount of people trying to play stealthy and trying to actually play and outthink the other uh, opponent, you know, you can make one wrong step and then you're fully vulnerable and get shot from the side or something. So the fact that this guy outplayed the other team for such a long time, a long period, managed to clutch out all those kills and at the same time managed to get 24 of them without dying is an amazing, amazing experience. So I want to thank him for sending this in to me, and I hope you guys appreciate it too. If you guys can, you know, go check out his channel. Like I said, he's hoping to get into YouTube. I mean, I don't know if he's, you know, not, not able to afford a PVR right now, but if this guy could put up gameplays like this, obviously he's one of the better, you know, gamers that I've ever seen, and I can honestly say that he's very, very impressive. And uh, so I want to thank you guys that are sitting here through this. Search and Destroy can be a little long. It might not be your cup of tea, but like I said, this is a very, very impressive achievement, something that hasn't been done on YouTube and probably will not be duplicated for a while. So, you know, overall, I want to congratulate this guy for doing that. I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you guys can, so if you guys can, go ahead down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys thought about this. What, what were you honestly feeling through this? And if you guys actually sat through the entire commentary to see this unique achievement, let me know what you guys thought of it down below. And, uh, yeah. There it is, guys. 24 kills the Moab, and he picks up a 25th one right here just to say fuck you. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you can, do me a favor and rate up the video. It really helps out a lot. And if you guys did enjoy it, adding a favorite would really, really help out, too. So, thanks for watching, guys, as he teabags the air. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm, yeah. So, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Get it.